Hello everyone. Welcome to the SciFit Step 1 Recumbent Stepper Training Session. In this session, we'll be looking at Step 1's various applications regarding who should use it and why, as well as its key features. In the next session, we'll look at Step 1's console programs. All SciFit machines have a very low starting resistance of 6 watts and the console will light up and function with the slightest of movements at very low speeds and workloads. However, it can also accommodate the most elite athletes with a broad range of resistance that goes over 1000 watts on the top end. The Step 1 can be cordless but includes an AC adapter. This means the machine does not require a power supply to function. However, you'll want to use the AC adapter if you want the lowest starting resistance possible or if you want the user to be able to resume their program after a brief pause. The workload levels go from 1 to 21 and are adjustable in 0.1 increments, providing 191 levels of resistance. This provides a comprehensive and progressive system for gradual improvement and is also great for user motivation. So who should use the Step 1? Step 1 is a great fit for many different people with various physical conditions. For example, those recovering from knee or hip surgery, those with limited flexibility and range of motion, those who can't make a full pedal rotation on a bike, those needing physical or occupational therapy, cardiac rehab, and pulmonary rehab, or people who just want to exercise from a seated position. It's an amazing total body exercise in a non-weight-bearing, low-impact way. It's also great for people with mobility and balance issues. The pattern is similar to walking or climbing stairs, strengthening muscles around the knees and hips, helping with fall risk reduction. It's also great for those who just want to maintain wellness. The Step 1's open architecture allows users with limited flexibility to enter and exit the machine. The pedals always come back to a neutral starting position for easy entry from either side. The Step 1 seat slides on a monorail system with zero slope to it, which makes it easy to move back and forth and provides easy transfer if needed. You simply step on the yellow foot lever to move the chair backward and forward. You can also slide the chair all the way off, allowing clients to exercise directly from a wheelchair. The Step 1's low impact total body movement is easy on the knees, hips, ankles, and lower back joints. The handlebars have a few adjustments that allow a good fit for any user. Arm lengths adjust from 1 to 12 inches and the hand grips can be positioned within a 60 degree range. The yellow paddle adjustments are large and easy to pull, which is great for someone with gripping challenges. The Step 1 comes with oversized orthopedic footbeds with a safety edge and heel cup to accommodate shoes of any size. The integrated foot straps provide security when needed and can easily be moved out of the way for standard use. The integrated grab bar provides an ergonomic location for hand placement to provide an easy way to get up and down from the seat. The user can choose how long or short a stride they want to use with a range of 11 and a half inches. The Step 1 also provides a very natural one-to-one -one arm and leg movement. If your arms move 5 inches, your legs will move 5 inches. Other steppers have a 2 to 1 ratio which can result in overextending the arms and shuffling of the feet. There are three seat systems, standard, bariatric, and premium. The premium seat is the most widely used in senior living communities because of its features. With it, you can go forward and back, adjust the height, the seat will rotate 360 degrees, locking every 90 degrees for easy entry. It will also recline with a 23 degree range, adjusting hip and knee angles for ideal flexion. Lastly, it has a 450 pound capacity. The standard seat and the bariatric seat only move forward and back. 
The standard seat has a 500 pound capacity, but the bariatric seat has a capacity of 600 pounds and is extra wide. There are many accessories that you can get for the Step 1 to meet various needs, like assist gloves, a heart rate strap, leg supports, a wheelchair ramp, etc. And that's the end of the Step 1 Recumbent Stepper training session. Thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful, and I wish you and your clients the absolute best.